Hey, Mark, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you taking the time out of the day for this. Of course, I'm, I'm always available. So obviously you and me have a history. Obviously we met at Los McDonald's College at the experience at the junior college level. And I've gotten to know you over the past couple of years, but not a lot of people may not be aware of a lot of things you are. You're currently the sports editor at the Collegian, correct? That's correct. And, and uh, I'm going to flex myself a little more. I'm also a contributor for a gaming news publication, uh, Twinfinite, it's called. That's awesome. That's fantastic. So let's go to the beginning of your career. I mean, uh, there had to be some type of love of sports or some type of writing to be able to pursue this career. So the story how I really became like a sports journalist is actually pretty funny. Um, I grew up playing sports. I have like from first grade, I played baseball uh, all the way up to high school. And then about um, my junior year of high school is when I, I actually started to try and play football. So I was a two sport athlete uh, throughout high school. But um, we, my entire family has been a huge fan of sports. We love the Niners, we love the Spurs, we love the Giants. And uh, it was just, there was that love for baseball. I remember those times where we'd be up late at night. I remember all the World Series wins. I remember Barry Bonds hitting 756, you know, all that stuff, stuff. So that's where I really got the love for sports. Where does the love for writing come into play? But you also want to be a, a, a broadcaster. That's actor, correct. correct. So, so go into a little bit about so that. So doing this is a lot more easier to me compared to like just writing. I like talking a little more because the way I correlated was that back in high school, whenever we'd hear the big news from like, say the sports world or if the video game side where we talk about how Xbox was doing a certain thing or PlayStation was doing a certain thing. We had my group in high school in our first period class where we talk nonstop, like it was like yeah, honestly thinking about it, we could have made a podcast for how much we would talk and how much content we talk about. So I think for that, that's where I really got the love for kind of just having that conversation. Even though I've been a very shy person throughout most of my life, so where it comes back to the writing, it's actually a really funny story. Is that I absolutely hate writing. Like I don't think a majority of the time I feel like writing is just such a burden for me. Just because I, I look at some other people's work and I'm just like, damn, they're actually really good. Um, but uh, the writing has just been something that I knew how to do well and how to put, put together a well written like research paper or anything type, type of like that or anything with persuasion, especially because when it comes to persuasion uh, essays, you have to really be pers uh, passionate about a certain thing. So that's where I really got. Like the, I guess the foundation for just writing. But in high school, uh, I'm willing to share that uh, I actually failed my junior year of uh, English. I had to redo two classes of English my senior year. So when was it that you decided that this is what you wanted to do for the rest of your life? So it happened going into my second year at junior college. My first year I was over at Contra Costa College, which is a sister location for Los Madonna's College. In the San Francisco Bay Area, right? Yes, that's correct. In the East Bay, to be more specific, because I yeah. grew up in uh, Richmond, California. So Contra Costa is uh, the community college in the next city over called San Pablo. Um, it was a closer one. We stayed, but we had already moved to Antioch, uh, which is a neighboring city to Los Madonna's home city, Pittsburgh, California. So essentially is that we had already moved out there. I moved out of Richmond my midway through my senior year. And we, I had already some prior arrangements tied up to Contra Costa College, so I was gonna go there for a year and then finish my JUCO at uh, Los Madonna's. So when I got to Los Madonna's, I had a counselor meeting, and while I was waiting for the counselor meeting, there was a flyer advertising the journalism major at LMC. And a lot of the previous skills I had learned from high school and then from the internships I'd done, the jobs, um, and then just the idea that I liked news a lot, um, it just kind of blends blend together. Like I can try this major because I actually had no major throughout all of my, um, throughout high school and then uh, into community college. Now let's talk about your upbringing. You mentioned that you're from Richmond, California, correct? That's now, cool. although maybe a lot of people in Central Valley may not realize this, but Richmond's actually a really neighboring city to San Francisco and also to Oakland, correct? You're such a cool suburb. However, it is a little bit of a, I wouldn't say developing neighborhood, but it's also one of those neighborhoods where you see a lot of crime, you see a lot of shootings, you see a lot of gang stuff like that. How did that affect you growing up? Oh man, it was, it's a, uh, I think it's what made me, honestly. Uh, I remember a time growing up where, you know, like, I think it was 2009, Richmond was one of the dangerous cities in the world. Yes. Yeah, I remember there was times where the marshals would be out there and they would be driving down the street uh, just because how crazy it was, it was out there. You know, there was times where I thought, 
you know, a drive-by would happen in front of my house. Um, but I think what really saved me was my dad putting me in sports and making sure that I stayed away from that stuff, even though it, it did bleed into our games occasionally. But with him as a head coach of my baseball team, it really didn't do as much until I got to high school when he wasn't coaching me. But I think just that upbringing alone, it really just made me who I am and just knowing how everyone else around me was going through the same thing. I'll catch you guys later.